guys how's everything going welcome back to my channel I wanted to bring you guys a makeup look that I have been wearing quite a bit the last few months and I thought it's sort of apropos it's sort of really appropriate because all of the warm eyeshadow palettes are out right now like Urban Decay, Naked Heat, Tartlet, Toasted Palette, you can essentially recreate the look that I have on with any warm palette. Any eyeshadow palette, if you have the Morphe M3502 or M350, I'm sure any warm palette or any palette that has warm shadows can be used to recreate the look that I'm wearing right now. So I thought I would do a quick get ready with you. Get ready with you? I would do a quick get ready with me. And we can just sort of chat and have some fun talks about the holidays. And you guys can see how I get ready. I have some new products here for you guys. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so let's start rocking and rolling. I'm not entirely sure why I wore this because now I'm gonna be sweating, but that's okay. That's okay. I am going to start off with an old favorite by Beauty Gobby Lip Mask. You guys know I always prep my lips before getting started. Oh, it feels so good. If you guys have seen my Sephora VIB sale haul, then you guys will have seen me pick up this Smashbox Primerizer. So it's going to be the first time I use this. Let's see. First impressions right here. Ooh, it's super liquidy. Were you supposed to shake it? Crap. To use, oh no, no shaking. Super watery. All right, very hydrating. Yes, I like that. I actually like that a lot. No smell. High five. Let's get started with the base. So I have my trusty beauty blender. This is damp, but not too, too wet. And guys, new base product. This is so far something that I've been loving. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the one that is SPF 50. This is the normal one, not the pink package. I think the pink package has like brightening or something like that, or it's like extra dewy. I just got the regular dewy. And I have the color tan. So anyway, guys, how are you? How have you been? How is your fall going? I'm actually digging the fall. I wasn't too fond of the summer. I was super busy in the summer, so I didn't really get to enjoy it too, too much. But the fall, I am loving. I love the finish of this foundation. It's like dewy, but not too, too dewy. And I like the coverage. It's lightweight, doesn't feel too, too heavy, and um, just looks like skin. And you guys know that I love those kinds of foundations. But I've been thinking, because I do a lot of like lightweight foundations, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to try out a full coverage foundation or if there's any foundations that you want me to test out. I will definitely give it a go. So next, let's move on to concealer. I am using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I am the color medium one and a half or 1.5 macadamia. I really like this concealer, guys. Like, I thought that I would always be a diehard naked, what is it? An Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, but I think this is much better. However, I will say that um, if you have dry under eyes, this will emphasize texture, so this wouldn't be the concealer for you. But on normal circumstances, if you don't have dry under eyes, this is great. I find that this just sort of is really brightening. The coverage is exactly what I want. Like, I like that it can cover these veins on my face that are quite prominent and a little bit purple and they just like disappear. I also like to use it to like help with the stash. You know, you ladies, anyone have that problem? So what's everybody excited for for the holidays? Since Thanksgiving is around the corner, I'm really just looking forward to the food. Oh my goodness. I am super excited about pie and dessert and I'm really excited about mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. And the mac and cheese recipe that I use is from Chrissy Teigen's cookbook. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Tell me in the comments below what your favorite thing about Thanksgiving is. Or if you guys don't do Thanksgiving, holidays, you know? You see that candle over there? That's the winter candle from Bath and Body Works. Oh, guys, that scent just like brings it home that it is festive season, it is the holidays, it is time to Pate. I've been talking and I'm like not even actually doing my makeup. Okay, so concealer's on. 
This is a new step for me, guys. Sneaky, sneaky. I may have a giveaway for you guys. So check me out during December because I have, I've accumulated a bunch of things that I want to put in like a month long giveaway. So you guys keep a lookout for that. But anyway, these are the Kim Kardashian West KKW Beauty um, Contra Sticks. I love these sticks because they are super sheer. They sheer out really nicely, but they still like are very impactful. This is the medium contour kit. So I am going to use the medium, this is a highlight. This is one thing I really hate about the packaging. Everything is like monochromatic, so you can't really read it. It's so difficult. Okay, medium contour kit. I'm using the color one or the first color it's the lighter of the two and i just like to use it as like a bronzer i just do two swipes right above my cheek and then i use the the second one number two and look i don't think you guys can see that i have used it down to the nubby which means you know i love this thing also it doesn't have that much product you guys already know that the main complaint is there's not that much product it's really expensive but honestly, I really like these. Also, when I place this contour strip, I don't put it on the hollows of my cheeks because I know that I'm gonna be blending it down and it'll eventually get here. And then I put it on my jawline because we need to work on my double chin. All right, putting it on my forehead and then down my nose. You see what I mean, guys? Like, it'll blend down and it'll get to where it needs to go. I also find that if you do contour slightly higher than it's supposed to be, it lifts your face. Like, So I use a matte highlight shade to sort of help clean up my contour. So I just put it down here. And then I use the shimmery shade just to start like adding a base on the highlight. So I put two swipes here, right at the high points of my cheeks and then down my nose. Can you guys see that? And then like, we're just messing with the cupid's bow a little bit. highlight okay that's the base done now we're gonna move to setting so I picked up a new setting powder the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish this is in the color one fair so I use this to um, set my under eyes and I really really like this powder it's very finely milled so you can barely see it on there it's so good. I don't really love this bronzer, to be honest. I am using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is a matte bronzer. Well, this one I feel like barely can be seen on my skin, no matter how many times I like press into it. But I use it to set my contour. It adds a little bit of color, but I'm also like a tan girl. So I thought that this Chocolate Soleil was going to be dark enough, but it's not. I also like to just add a little bit more dimension to my contour. So I'm picking up my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. Just gonna pick up the Sculpt shade. Carve out the hollows, but just very lightly. Didn't put too much. You know I love setting my double chin. Especially right here. Gotta make sure you get this part. Double chin, double chin, go away. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna set, put a little bit of shadow right here, not too much, because I don't want my forehead to be too dark. And then setting the contour on the sides of my nose. The one thing I also wanna do is add some blush. I'm going into my favorite, honestly, like, I love these Hourglass edits. They come out on the holidays. If you guys haven't picked one up yet, pick up the holiday 2017 Hourglass edit. You will not be disappointed. So I'm just gonna do like a mixture of these two. Look at that color. And I love that there's a little bit of a sheen running through it because it has some marbling, so it's not completely matte. But there's no glitter. Zero glitter. If you're worried about that, zero glitter. It's just, it just gives you this healthy, beautiful glow that I, I love. I'm like putting it all over the place. On to brows. I'm going to take the Benefit Goof Proof, Goof Proof, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the color 3. Again, pick this up in the VIB sale. I'm really digging like a straighter, more full brow, so that's what I'm trying to go for. We'll see if we end up there. What was I saying to you guys? I feel like I got all distracted trying to tell you guys what I was doing with my makeup, and then I never finished the thought. I think we were talking about Thanksgiving, but um, yeah. 
what else is going on festive for the holidays? Is anyone going away? Is anyone visiting family? What's going on with you guys? Where are you guys going? I go to one place for the holidays always. I go to visit my parents in Hawaii and I'm really excited. I haven't been back home in a year. So my sister, my brother, and I are all planning really fun things to do while we're at home. What are we thinking on the brows? I think they're looking great. And they're not too dark, which I love. All right, so that's it for Goof proof number three, but I think I still want to add a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to go in with the Precisely My Brow. This is in the number four. I like to add a bit more detail here on the tail ends of my brows just because make it look like there's hairs there. Okay, setting brows. We're going to use the Gimme Brow. All of my brow products are from Benefit. Why? I don't know. I just really like it. So we're working on the eyes now. I am now using my favorite, which I'm so sad got discontinued. This is the MAC Paints in the color Still Life. They no longer make it, and I am still trying to find a replacement. I was at MAC, and I was going to try one of their paint pots. I was going to either try um, Groundwork or what is the one Desi, Desi Perkins always uses? Soft Ochre or something like that. I was thinking of getting that, but... I don't know, it's matte and it doesn't have, this one has a little bit of sheen to it, which I like because it adds a little bit of pop behind the matte shadows. Just not too much, you don't see it through too much, but just, just a little bit. And then I just like to put this all over the rest of my face. So I'm just putting this on the tops of my cheeks. See what I mean? Like you could wear this alone and your highlight would be still popping. All right, down the bridge of my nose. I don't think I told you guys any of the brushes that I've been using, so I will leave them on the screen somewhere. I'll also leave all of the products I'm using, I'll link them down below, and I'll list them for you guys, just in case you know I went too quickly or I skipped over anything. They'll be linked in the description box below, so check it all out. And if you are new to this channel, hi! Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but also, for any of my videos, whatever I'm wearing, if it's this like sweater and you guys are wanting to know where it's from, I will have that link below, earrings, all of the makeup that I'm wearing if I'm not talking about it. Oh, she knows. I will be linking them down below or I'll have a description of like what I'm currently wearing in terms of makeup or you know, clothes, accessories, etc. I am now going to set my eyeshadow primer with some MAC Single Eyeshadow. This is in the color Orb. This is literally the only eyeshadow I use to set my primer. It's also the only eyeshadow I use as a base for all of my eyeshadows. I just like it. I find it's the perfect... <sighs> Can you guys hear that? Come on. Okay, it stopped. I find that it's the perfect base for my skin tone, it's very neutral, but it has a slight pink undertone to it. Now onto the fun bits. We are using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this palette. Honestly, like, I love this palette. You can create so many different looks. I have used pretty much every color except for maybe these bright ones. But today, which is why I love this palette, um, we're going to do a warm, warm-ish sunset -y fall look with this palette and like I said earlier stay tuned I may be doing a giveaway that'll feature this product so check me back out check me back out check back in in December I'm going to start off with this color here I like to mix it with this color here and this color right here this is just going to be my base for this eyeshadow look I have hooded eyes and so I like to bring my color quite high onto my crease because when you look directly forward, it tends to sort of like get pulled into my eyelid. Now I'm going to take this yellow color, it's like a mustardy yellow right here, and I'm going to add that to my crease also and setting it down as a base just so that it peeks through. What I will say about this eyeshadow palette is it has a bit of fallout that doesn't bother me. I really, really enjoy all of the colors. I feel like you can pretty much do any eye look. I keep thinking, oh, I'm gonna go pick up the Urban Decay Naked Heat or I'm gonna pick up the Tartlet Toasted Palette. But then I'm like, 
Then I have this and it it's pretty much the same colors. I mean, they're not exactly the same, but all of the looks I can make with those palettes I can do with this one. So I'm gonna take this orange shade right here and I'm gonna take it on with a MAC 217. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this color right underneath. So I'm not gonna layer it directly on top, but just right underneath, which is why I switched over to the 217 brush. Brush? <laughs> brush. It's a little bit more densely packed and not nearly as long of a bristle, so I can place color a little bit more precisely with it, but it still has the capability to blend. And as you guys can see, I didn't go too high off of my crease. Still want it to be like yellow and then that tan and then the orange. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a 224 brush, go back in with that yellow, and then blend out the crease. So now I'm gonna move on to, what color do I, I really like? I'm probably gonna do a mixture of these two shades right here. They're like a little bit more ready toned browns. So I'm gonna do those two, I'm gonna mix them together, still with the same brush. And I'm just gonna go slightly below the orange, really just deepening that color even further. Look how pretty that is, guys. Like, oh my god. I love the shadows in this palette. Honestly, you could stop here, put the same color on your lower lash line, call it a day. But I do really like when I have a defined crease. I feel like my eyes look a little bit more open. So I'm going to then take a Real Techniques base, base, I can't speak today, base shadow brush. This is the one that comes to a slight point and it's a little bit flatter. I'm going to pick up this darkish brown color right here. I'm gonna pick that up and work that into the outer third of my eye and into my crease. This will help create the wing shape to the eyeshadow that I really love. I like to wing my eyeshadows up just because I have slightly hooded downturned eyes, so Makes my eyes look much bigger and a lot more awake. Now for the fun part. And we're going to take this, the shimmer shade. It's like cranberry shimmer shade. I'm gonna take this and put it all over the lid. Just use my finger. Oh, yes. Beautiful. So I like to brighten this up a little bit more and I'm going to take this gold shade right here and I'm gonna use that with my finger and then I'm just gonna tap that in the center of my eye just to brighten the eye a little bit. Amazing. So lower lash line, super easy. I'm going to take a mixture of the orange shade right here and then the reddish shade. Lay that right really close to the lash line. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and then I'm going to take that orange shade again and use it to blend out that bottom lash line. I'm gonna take some of the orange and some of the yellow on the pencil brush again and continue to blend that down. That. And then I'm gonna just take a teensy bit of that dark brown that we already used. This just use that on the bottom third, just to give it a bit more definition. Just like that. Kat Von D Trooper, a uh, tattoo eyeliner in Trooper. Ooh, I think I matched them. Are they matching? They're close enough. That's the best they're gonna get. It's good enough for me. We're quitting while we're ahead. All right, so now we're gonna finish the rest of the face. So now we're going to highlight. We're using the Becca Champagne Pop, my favorite highlighter ever. See that glow? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yes. Yes. I really like using this brush with my inner corner highlight. It's an accent brush from Real Techniques, and I always love how Champagne Pop finishes a look. I pray to God that my mascara does not ruin 
what I've done here because it's done it before in the past and I'm real scared that I'm gonna have the same disaster on my hands. I start off by using a waterproof mascara because my lashes are stick straight. They're the worst. I hate them so much. <laughs> so I'm using the Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara. It's advanced film. This is a, I think it's a Japanese mascara. Uh, my sister picked it up for me a while ago. I think it was like last summer when she lived in Singapore for three months. So I'm just using it to sort of prime and separate and set up my curl. So that's the waterproof mascara down. And then because I want this to have like big falsy type lashes, I am using my new mascara. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big or Monsieur Big, Mr. Big. I don't like the wand on this. I do like the formula of the mascara, but I feel like the wand just sort of puts way, like it holds way too much product. And if I wasn't being extra already just using two mascaras. I'm gonna use a third. <laughs> so I'm using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash for my lower lashes because it's got a really long wand. However, it is not waterproof and it is not budge proof, like some people say. So if you're looking for a waterproof mascara, stay away from this. People say it doesn't move. Yeah, it does. Y'all lied to me. Yo, lie to me. So onto lips. If we don't want to go overly fall for this makeup look, I would go and stick with a nude. This is one of my favorites right now. This is the NYX Liquid Suede. Um, this is in the color, what color is this one? Soft Spoken, love this color. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But if you do want to go and amp it up a little bit, I would recommend something dark and mysterious and vampy. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Exorcism. This is what I was wearing in my Sephora VIB haul. And I pair it with this MAC lip pencil in the color Half Red. So I'm just like creating an outline with Half Red. Here they go again, banging. I don't know what they're hanging on, but. Now we're just going to set our entire face. Love that. Fix Plus is one of my favorite. Fix Plus? No, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I don't know why I was calling it Fix Plus. It's not Fix Plus. Love this stuff, definitely helps with getting all of the powders on my face to sort of meld and helps the highlight pop a little bit more. Pop, pop, pop. All right guys, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I really love this look. As I said, you guys can definitely tone down this makeup look by going with a nude, but I really like it. I was wearing this in my Sephora VAB haul and I thought I'd recreate it for you guys, especially since it is like a very warm look. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. Are you guys going to recreate it? If you do, please post it on Instagram and tag me and just show me your recreations. I would love to see it. Thank you guys again for watching. I loved doing this video for you. I just had a lot of fun getting ready with you guys, and I hope you guys had fun with me too. If you guys loved it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button right now, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.